Hello, Grace Church. Hi, everybody. We just wanted to touch base with you and let you know of a few changes that are going to be coming up. So, as you know, just like everybody else, a couple of months ago, you know, middle of March, actually, uh, since the middle of March, we've not been able to meet as a church in our building. We've been live streaming and doing all those great things, but um, we believe the tide has turned. So, in light of what the president has said on Friday, he made a determination that churches and places of worship are now to be considered essential. And we're excited about that. And so we've done all that we can to stay connected before then, but we're looking forward to opening up and having a service at our church building on Pentecost Sunday, which is going to be May 31st. Yeah, and you know, it's interesting because it was just a few weeks ago that God just put it on my heart to... Uh, I guess to believe him to to open by that time, uh, it was just like I began to sense just some things that God wanted to do in our midst. Just you know, we, Pentecost is the celebration of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, and I believe that God wants to pour out His Spirit afresh again. I believe that God has been doing something in each of our hearts during this season that we have been in good things, and I think we're going to see the fruit of it as we start coming together. I believe that God wants to bring his presence in, in measures beyond what we've imagined. Mm -hmm. and, and I so agree. And the Lord's put so many scriptures on my heart too. Mm -hmm. And I know we've been in prayer about this. This is not a choice or decision that we've come to lightly. And we've also visited with our elder and deacon board and captured their hearts. And we've, we've all talked about this. And so we're excited to move forward. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to let you know too that uh, even though our governor, as of today's date, while we're recording this message to you, the governor is not of the same mind as the president just yet. But we're believing God for good things. And so we want to make sure that we do everything with a right heart mm -hmm. and in honor of the authorities that are above us in our city, our county, our state, and our, and our nation. And so that's our heart moving forward. And so in light of that, and the federal regulations for safety and care for when people are getting together, we will have all of those things in place at Grace Church. Uh, we're going to ask that as people come, you know, the doors will open at 930, service at 10, just like always. But we're going to ask that everybody that comes, please wear a mask. And we're going to do that for uh, being courteous and loving well for others. We're not doing it for us, but we're doing it for other people. And so we'll have masks, we'll have hand cleanser and sanitizer, and we're also going to practice good social distancing. Mm -hmm. And we'll do that not only when we walk through the foyer, but in the sanctuary too. And so that's going to be important for you to know. One of those things of being sensitive to other people is we're going to ask that you refrain from running up and grabbing people. Mm -hmm. I know that that's really hard because that's kind of the culture that we have. But during this season, as we're still figuring out what it's going to look like. It'll return to normal at some point. But for right now, we ask you to say, hey, wave, hey, <laughs> and, and then just keep moving right through. We also wanted to let you know that during Pentecost Sunday, we are not going to be having children's church services and the nursery will not be available. So all the kids that come, they're gonna stay right in the family units as they go in and sit in the sanctuary. So we asked all the families sit together with their own family. We'll have um, some rows that are taped off. We ask you to not use those during that service. And what else, babe? Well, I think the thing that we're, we're trying to say is it's time for the church to open. Mm -hmm. Now, we're not going to do it blindly. We're not going to do it without certain safety precautions and things in place. I, I mean, there's a certain amount of wisdom that, that we want to operate sure. in. But at the same time, it's time. It's time for us to gather. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, I was, I was just thinking about Shama in the lentil field in the old testament you know there's this whole story it's a great story if you haven't had a chance to read it go back and look it up but it was interesting because all of the enemies were coming at him and he he made his way out to the field and he stopped he hit a point and just said this far no more he kind of drew a line in the sand he turned and he faced whoever was coming and the lord just strengthened him and gave him victory and so we know that the lord is with us we want to follow his heart and when you do it, want to do it humbly 
and we want to do it joyfully mm -hmm. and we want to encourage each other in the Lord. And so we thank you for being a part of the Grace family. We're so excited to see you. And like we were saying before, if you don't feel well, if mm -hmm. you're if you're feeling sick, anybody in your family, please go ahead and keep watching from home. If you feel uncomfortable coming to the church for any reason at all, then please feel free to tap in and catch our Facebook live feed. We've been doing that for a few weeks. We're still working on getting the bugs out of it. But, you know, even after we reopen, that's going to continue to be a part of our church culture. Mm -hmm. And so we just invite you to join us, whether it's online or whether it's coming to the building. Either way is wonderful. And we love you guys and we're praying for you. God yeah. has got good things. We are so looking forward to seeing you. Yes. Thank and you. God bless you. Bye-bye.